Light and Dark, The Adventures of Dark Yagami. Chapter 19, one year anniversary, woo! Summer vaccination is over now, semicolon, underscore, semicolon. Apparently there is a dude called Kira, who is Akira, but old or something. Let's learn his story! OMG, this thing is one year old and famous, which makes it like a proper story! Yes! Who's the man? Me! Kira got out of bed and had a shave because he was old and had a beard except he shaved it. He looked at the poster on his wall which was a girl naked except for her underwear and sexy and then said I need to kill some dudes today and take out his death note. His newspaper wasn't working so he didn't know who the evil dudes were. Mm, I don't know how to kill. I will ask. He put on his snowshoes and coat and hat and socks and a jumper his mom gave him for Christmas and also some pants because it was snowy and walked outside. A car roomed past and splattered him with a puddle so he death noted the driver who exploded and then his car exploded too. That'll teach you! Kira screamed, dancing on the dead car. Then he knew people might see and ran away in the snow going squish under his snowshoes which were actually tennis rackets because he lost his snowshoes in the fire. They were still on fire and left burns in the snow. I must kill people! He screamed, getting all itzy because it was like half nine, and normally he killed the peeps, then got a glass of coffee and some lucky charms, and also a shower because he was stinky sometimes. He missed his bus to the city, so he used his death note to make another bus come and pick him up, and then the bus driver would die when he got there. He sat down and listened to an old guy band like Jefferson Spaceship or something on his iPod. Next to him was the girl from the bus, and she was a spy for Elle, but no one knew it, not even Elle. Are you a nice day? Said the girl from the bus, taking his iPod off. Yeah, I need to ask the cops about something to do with the notes. Then he said too much and stuck his hand over his mouth and screamed, I said nothing! Okay, the girl with the bus said and acted like she saw nothing, but then she got out her magic phone and shouted, Operator! Get me L! I have a guy with a death note! So the operator found L and put him on. This dude, Kira, is actually Akira! He has a death note and someone told me a car exploded and he was there dancing with a death note! It could be a coincidence, Elsa said back, munching on pixie stick. These things happen all the time. Okay. Then Kira got off the bus and it exploded because of the death note. Kira ran through downtown and saw a dude wearing a cool hat and death noted him because he wanted the cool hat for himself because it was a sombrero with feathers and a machine gun. He found the shop that the cops ran and went in. Hello Ad, welcome to the precinct, said the desk lady. Again, from chapter 4, I think. I don't remember, lol. Smiling like mad, because she just sexed Naomi. Hello, said Kira, trying not to be a creepy dude and failing. I need to know some evil people. Why? It's for... A school project. You look too old to be a schooly dude. That is because I am. Okay, here are some evil dudes. She read the list out. Hold on. Let me get my notebook, so I don't forget. He pulled out his death note, but put his finger over the word death, so no one would know. He writ a dude's name down, and he died in jail in front of them. A WTF! Screamed the desk lady. The cop with an afro came and said, WTF also. That had nothing to do with me, said Kira, and they believed him because he was a good liar, and he threatened to death note them if they didn't. So he was happy, and dudes were dying, and the bus was on fire, and he had a good hat, and it was a happy day in Light City. But... The desk lady was walking down the street in the snow when a girl on fire jumped out and scarred her. Who are you? She screamed, taking off her hat. I am the girl from the bus. The girl from the bus replied, also getting naked. What do you want? The desk lady asked and got off her dress to show a gold one piece made of silk and gold. I know that Kira dude is Kira! The girl from the bus screamed as they started to sex. Now you mention it, he did seem suspicious and some dude's dead when he written a book like the real Kira. Desk lady replied, getting happy. But Elle won't believe me! Elle has dead! Desk lady screamed as they stopped to sex. Then who did I phone? Meanwhile, in Dark South! An evil dude was holding a phone. He was listening to Desk Lady and the girl from the bus sexing and was real happy for them and let them finish. Get a blasted confoundations! He roared in a manner that was British. That sod sandwich and her sodden Desk Lady have figured it out! 
the mystery dude got up and gave the other mystery dude, who is a magnificent bastard, a cup of tea because he was British, and the other dude spat it in his face because he was American and didn't drink British drinks except for sometimes shandy. Ayen, it's a British drink, my mate. Ayen, British for friend. Tyler got me when he went to London on vacation, which is like beer and lemonade and it's alcoholic, but you couldn't drink it under 21, which makes it for me and I drink it all the time now. Also, they have newspapers with naked ladies in, and he got me one and I read it every night. I wish I was British now, except for the teeth. Well, that is tough, mystery dude. I am the new L now, and there is nothing they can do about it, so there. Then he put on his sneakers and a fluffy hat and snow goggles and ran out to the downtown to meet them. Hi, girls, I'm L, the mystery dude said, and they had a threesome. When they were done, the desk lady said, You are much better at sexing than the last L. Tell me your name, mysterious stranger, desk lady asked sexy. No, because someone might death note me. You're too smart for me. Now let's catch this Kira dude. We will! Mystery Dude replied, OR MY NAME ISN'T DARK YAGAMI!